Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Let's sing the hello song. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome to story time. Today we are talking all about squares. A square is a shape with four equal sides and four points. Let's see if we can draw a square in the air. There's one, two, three, four sides. I have the perfect book to talk about squares today. It's right here on my shelf. It's called Perfect Square by Michael Hall. Perfect Square by Michael Hall. It was a perfect square. It had four matching corners and four equal sides. There they are, friends. There are the four corners. Can we count them together? One, two, three, four. And it was perfectly happy. Oh, that's a pretty happy square, I would say. Do you see that big smile on his face? But on Monday, the square was cut into pieces and poked full of holes. It wasn't perfectly square anymore. Oh my goodness, this doesn't look like a very perfect square at all, does it? But the square knew just what to do. It made itself into a fountain that babbled and giggled and clapped. Look at that, the square has used all of the different cut up pieces to make a fountain and the little holes become the water clapping and babbling down the fountain. On Tuesday, the square was torn into scraps. What do you think the square is going to make out of itself now that it's been torn into scraps? I don't know. It's not very perfect, is it? So it made itself into a garden. Look at all those beautiful flowers in the garden. Wow. On Wednesday, the square was shredded into strips. <gasps> hmm, I wonder what's going to happen with all of these strips. Do you think we can make something out of it? So it made itself into a park. Look at that beautiful green park. It looks beautiful. I would like to fly a kite there, wouldn't you? On Thursday, the square was shattered. <gasps> oh my goodness, how are we going to get out of this one? What do you think the square will turn into now? If you'd like to find out what happens to the square next and to find out what object it turns itself into, you can check this book out from our library. I will put a link in the description of this video so you can check this and other books out from our library. Are you ready to sing a song about a square? First, we need our very own square. We can make one using our fingers. If we take our fingers, we make two L's and we twist them and we put them together like that. Look at that. Doesn't that look just like a square? We're going to start by putting our square on our heart. So let's put our square near our heart and sing the song. You can follow along with the motions. Put your square on your heart, on your heart. Put your square on your heart, on your heart. Put your square on your heart. What a lovely way to start. Put your square on your heart, on your heart. Put your square on your toes, on your toes. Put your square on your toes, on your toes. Put your square on your toes, then put it on your nose. Put your square on your toes, on your toes. Put your square on your head, on your head. Put your square on your head, on your head. Put your square on your head. Then put it straight to bed. Put your square on your head, on your head. Awesome job, friends. High five, that was a great song we sang together. It's time to write. You can grab a pen or you can follow along tracing with your finger if you'd like to follow us. Today I've put some dots on the board. We're gonna connect those dots together 
into letters and eventually into a word. And we're going to find out what today's word is. The capital letter is always first. So we'll start there. What letter is that? F. O. U. R. F O U R F O R four. Four is the perfect word for today because a square has one, two, three, four sides. Friends, do you see that? Oh my goodness. What shape is that, friends? It's a square, isn't it? It's a red square. Hmm. Red square, red square. What do you see? I see an orange triangle looking at me. He brought his friend the orange triangle. Do you see the orange triangle? Hmm. Orange triangle, orange triangle. What do you see? I see a blue diamond looking at me. Hello, Blue Diamond. Blue Diamond, Blue Diamond, what do you see? I see a green rectangle looking at me. Green rectangle, green rectangle, what do you see? I see a yellow star looking at me. Yellow star, yellow star, what do you see? I see a purple circle looking at me. Purple circle, purple circle, what do you see? I see lots of happy shapes looking at me. <gasps> oh, that's lovely. I see lots of beautiful shapes looking at me too. Friends, it is time to do a craft together. Will you join me? We're going to use perfect square as our inspiration. And we're going to take a perfectly square piece of paper and see how we can imperfectly mess it up and then create something new out of it. And the best thing is all you need is the supplies around your house and one perfectly square sheet of paper. For this project, you just need some paper. I picked a red piece of paper. You're gonna count one, two, three, four equal sides. Then you're gonna destroy it. I crumpled mine up and ripped it into bits. You can destroy it any way you want. And then you get to create something new. I'm creating a mountain here by gluing my scraps across into a little triangle mountain shape. Then you can add any embellishments you want. You can color on it, do whatever you want to make your project look perfect, and then you're done. Super easy. My craft turned out really wonderful. I loved making it. Thank you for joining me in making it. But the great thing about this project is that there are all kinds of imperfect crafts we can make using our perfect square. And I actually have a couple examples for you. Earlier this month, some of our patrons participated in the My First Book Club program. They got to take home their very own copy of this book, Perfect Square, and they also did the same craft that we just did. And I have some examples of some of the wonderful items they made. Let's look at them now. to our participants for participating in the My First Book Club program. 
and for letting me share your creations with our story time group. If you are interested in participating in our next My First Book Club, we should have one coming up soon. I will put that in the description as well so you can sign up if you would like. Well, friends, we've reached the end of our program. It's time for the goodbye song. Will you sing it with me? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.